Hey y'all. So I have been talking with Hillary and I know we were um, wanting to do a Zoom and I do want to do a Zoom with you guys and, you know, go over things where you can like face to face or through chat, ask me questions. Um, but please know that you can message me at any time. Um, I may not get back with you like right that second, but if it's something that, you know, I can get back with you too in a few hours. Please always feel free to message me. I know Hillary is amazing and she does so much for you guys and answers them. And if you guys just ever, you know, have anything, please reach out to me. I am always here and <clears throat> I'm so excited for the growth in you guys. So many big, big things are coming and happening and I just, I can't wait to see what 2021 brings, but we still, I feel like, ugh, take a deep breath. We have so much left of 2020 and hopefully you guys are, um, Black Friday may have already happened. Um, you may, this may be, um, the day Hillary sends this to you guys and we're still, you know, anxiously awaiting for Black Friday, but you guys, um, first off what my word of this video and sorry, I'm like, what I look around a lot whenever I talk. Um, and I don't ever take notes. What I tell you guys, I speak from my heart and I speak from experience. So anything I'm telling you guys, I've lived it. Um, and I squirrel a lot, but I promise I make a full circle and everything I say comes back together to make sense. So my word of this video is consistency. Consistency is what is going, it can make or break your business. And you're probably like, oh, well, how can consistency break my business? Not being consistent is what can break your business. Um, most of you are sitting here, um, you're brand new. Um, maybe you've hit posh, but you're still you're, you're not sure maybe what the next steps are or what to do. Maybe you've completed your power start. Maybe you're still in your power start. Um, I'm going to give you a little bit of background about me and about my story. Um, not really like, but my plunder story. Um, I started four years ago. Um, I was a, a full-time photographer. I um, was chasing my kids around. Um, they're nine and seven now, so do the math. Um, I guess they were three and five. Um, they were into soccer. They were into the things, not as much as they are now. Um, and I never, like, I took business classes in college. Um, I worked for a local boutique for a long, long time. Um, and I always, like, wanted to have my own business, but, like, meh. I had done other direct sales companies and then I just pretty much had decided that any anybody who was successful in those companies like they were in it at the beginning or you know they had a lot of money to invest and we were at a time like we were legit living paycheck to paycheck um you know I knew at Christmas time that I would have to bust my rear um to be able to you know do Christmas for the kids our families all the things um you know a lot of financial burden had come upon us and I was just at a point I was exhausted I um I wanted like I looked into all these things like okay what could I do to start a business if I started making this or I started making that and I was just at a point where I was like I will do anything but I will never do direct sales again I had I had done actually really well in a one comp in one company and they burned me completely um completely and I just never, I never wanted to do it again. And so anyways, I always knew inside that I needed more and I wanted more, but I didn't know what that was. And my cousin kept reaching out to me about plunder and I was just, I, well, I ignored her, honestly. She kept wanting me to buy this jewelry that I was like, meh, I stay at home. Like I don't wear jewelry when I do pictures. Like meh, I ignored her until I realized they had personalized pieces. So on a side note, reach out to all photographers. I know that's one of y'all's things is how do you get people to join? Talk to your photographers. Um, anyways, so, um, I signed up and I told her you can't post this on social media because I was so scared of what other people would think. 
oh, here's Amory again doing another company. Hasn't she like sucked it up? Sorry, I don't like the word suck, but sometimes I feel like it's needed. Um, here she is, you know, sucking it up at something else that she'll fail at. So I wouldn't allow my cousin to shout me out that I joined. Um, I told my husband that I was joining and thank goodness he supported me so much. And he was like, Amory, I trust you with my kids. I trust you with, you know, all these other decisions. Why wouldn't I trust you on this? And I was like, okay, I mean, I'm spending like $100 out of our account that we didn't have, but here we go. So anyways, um, if you, if this is the Wednesday before, um, and you just want, you may have seen my video I did on Southern Grace. Um, we had Black Friday, like four or five days after I signed up. Insane. Um, like a few weeks went by and I signed my first stylist and like, I decided at that moment, I signed up on uh, 11, November 15th, and I decided in December, like, there's something here. And I went all in at that moment. I went, okay, let me take that back. I maybe didn't go, um, I just went all. I'm not going to say in yet because I got to tell you the in part. Um, so I was like, I can do something. Like, th this thing's going to work. I have to work it, though. Just like anything else that you do in life, you've got to work out it, at it, okay? It's not going to be posting one time a day. It's not going to be, um, you know, maybe talking to one person a week. If you want to make this a business, you want to eat, sleep, drink this business. Um, you want to consume yourself with it. Am I saying take away from your family time? No. Am I saying... Saying take away from other things, no. But you, in every aspect that you do, you want to incorporate your business because then the more you think about it, the more you're going to do it and you're going to become obsessed. It becomes your way of life. That becomes the consistency, okay? Um, it wasn't until I went to Leadership Academy, which at this time, um, it was their very first Leadership Academy. We actually had it in June. Um... I was making at this point in my business because I'm I'm very upfront with everything. If you ever have questions on my anything, you just ask me. At this point in my business, I was making about sixteen hundred dollars. I had hit one star. Um, actually hit one star in a couple of months because I went all in. If you're sitting here and you're like, oh, I've already only been in two months and I didn't hit one star, I'm gonna be a failure. No, stop. Everybody's story is different. And I promise you this, and I don't like getting into it because I will start crying, is every story is different and every single thing that I have done, I have failed at. I have failed, failed at miserable, miserably. Nothing is easy and it's not because Plunder had only been around, you know, a year and a half or two years before me. I did not get in on the ground floor. There is nothing that I have done that you guys can not do. It is consistency and it is hard work. And I decided in June, like I was building, I remember at the point in my business and it, it's literally my highlight moment. And if you've watched anything that I've done, you've probably heard me say it. Um, when I was able to tell, um, my mother-in-law, like, I remember her asking me how many people do you have on your team? And I was able to say 12. Like, that is huge. Do you know the way that I felt telling her that I had 12 people on my team? It was a more surreal and humbling feeling than it is that I can tell, um, tell her or tell anyone that I have over 1500 now. That point of having 12 people was the highlight, highlight to me. So I'm going to, I promise I'm going to get into you. I just want you guys to know every story is different and it's all about your mindset. Okay. And being consistent. So in June, I went to leadership Academy. Um, at this point I was making about 1600, um, which was amazing. It was money that, and it may have been 13. I don't remember, but it still, it wasn't enough for, where we needed to be. We still were having a little bit of struggles, um, but it was definitely a great um, extra for sure because um, I did slowly kind of stop pictures, but it wasn't until 
I went to Leadership Academy and I met the girls who were top leaders and I met pretty much everyone and I know y'all have heard and I always butcher it now and I should have it right here until I heard the quote if you play around with your business your business is going to give you money to play around with and then there's another one <laughs> um and then the last one said and I still get emotional because I I live this every day and I feel like I'm currently living it but if you give your business everything you have your business is going to give you everything you ever wanted you guys if you give your business everything you have eat sleep breathe all those things I'm trying to figure out who's at my house um your business is going to give you everything you ever wanted that goes back to the word consistency, right? Giving it everything is consistency. So first I want to start off with saying that, um, leading into <laughs> this, it's all going to go hand in hand. I promise you guys, um, you, um, you want to know how do you get girls to join? That's probably the most, that's the thing that's hardest for most. That's the thing that girls um, feel like that they struggle with the most. But the funny thing is, is all of you guys have it in you to do it. Okay, I'm trying to make, it was a customer picking up something. It goes back to consistency. It goes back to being real. This is me being real with you. I am on a training. I do have earrings on. Um, I have no makeup on. Nothing. I just got my eyelashes done literally two hours ago. No makeup on. You have to be real. I'm not saying go live and don't wear makeup <laughs> all the time. But go live and be yourself. There is no better person that is a better you. Okay? So... The way that you can talk on social media, the way um, you can present yourself, um, you want to just talk about life. You know, you want to go on and, you know, we get paid weekly with plunder, right? So going on and talking about, um, you know, oh my gosh, I was able to fill up my entire tank of gas this week. Excuse me, I should drink Dr. Pepper too. <laughs> um, I was able to fill up my car because of my plunder paycheck this week. I was able to make a down payment on blah, 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 because of my plunder paycheck. Those are ways that, and I talked with Hillary yesterday, doing these on your stories, on your, um, on your personal page. Um, oh gosh. Okay. It's still there. Um, Doing these things in a, on your personal page is going to, um, it's going to get people thinking and watching you. Um, because I know for me, I've had people come to me and they're like, I've been watching you for, you know, six months now. And like every week, you know, you're doing something or you're getting something, you know, plunder is spoiling you with this. And I just want to be a part of that. So putting things, I'm not saying blow up your personal page with jewelry every day. No, no, no. But talking, and I'm not saying get on there and post, you can get this kit for $99. Join me today. No. Talking about the things Plunder has done for you is going to get people thinking and watching you. Um, I did, there's an album, and I really need to update it and do some more. There is an album um, in Southern Grace and it has stylus and it has a little bio and what plunder has done for them. Put those in your story. Um, use, you know, other stylus testimony and put them in there. Use your own testimony. Um, Hillary's done a big deal about just going live in your VIP group and just talking. Like I went live this morning and talked about how my son's shoes stink so bad. And like, I'm getting so much feedback on it. Um, so just going on, if you're at your kid's soccer game or you're at 
anything. Go live. I'm not saying go live for 20 minutes. Go live for five minutes. Show what you're doing. Um, women realizing, and I want you guys like also to be thinking this through as a stylist, knowing that you can work this business from anywhere is it's absolutely amazing because no matter what is going on um you're at sporting events you're at dance you're at whatever we all hop on our phones we can check things we can you know so it goes back to we have to be consistent and that's the biggest thing is on your on the opportunity I don't want you going on posting, like I said, the $99 graphic, but being consistent in at least one to three times a week, sharing what plunder's done. Share if you've set up a little area for your plunder and be like, I didn't think I had room for plunder, but here I am with my desk full. Um, that is all ways to share the opportunity without sharing it. And I mean, like I said, this is the thing I get asked the most about and it's just being real and genuine. I think that, um, is what has gotten me, um, <clears throat> out to such like a cold market to new people is because I'm just being real and they look at me and they know I don't like to wear a lot of makeup. I don't like getting dolled up. Like there's, I'm far from perfect. Thank God freaking goodness. Um, and people relate to that. And guess what? I may be the polar opposite to some, and it may be some of you guys are sitting here and you're like, I don't see how she goes live with no makeup on. She really needs some, um, <laughs> but that's fine too. I just want to show that no matter what, like anybody can do this, right? No superpower. We're all perfectly imperfect. So being real is going to be the biggest thing. Um, and sh talking about it, like, okay, so my biggest, 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 besides being real, second biggest recruiting tip is always ask, ask every single hostess. I'm all about a Facebook party and I ask every single hostess that joins and guess what? Most of them say no, not right now, but guess what? They continue to watch me you know, I told you like six months or a year, whatever. I always jot down their names whenever they say no, not right now. And um, say that we have some kind of um, uh, incentive come out or maybe it's been six months. I look back at my list and I'm like, hey, I'm like, Hey, Hillary, I know, you know, back in June, you weren't really interested about plunder, but we're coming out with this, this, and this. It's the holiday season, and I think it's your time. Sometimes they still say no. Sometimes they ignore me. Or sometimes they say, I can't believe you just messaged me. I've been watching you these last few months. I saw that you got those uh, free plunder pods. I've been wanting those. I think it's time. Y'all, I'm not bugging them, nothing. But if I hadn't asked them, sorry, and I messed with my hair a lot. Um, if I hadn't asked them back whenever they hosted the party, I already planted that seed without being pushy. Then, and I can send y'all wording. Hillary, text me if your girl say you want some wording like to send to your hostess because it's not pushy and it's short and sweet. I'm not saying this is keywording and goes back to my wording is me. It's Amory. It's not Hillary, you know? So you've got to find words that work for you, but I can give you an example to kind of teeter totter with. But asking every hostess, get your foot in the door. Um, so that way, when you do come back, um, because you're already hosting the party for them, what are they going to do? Just start ignoring you from here on out? Well, I guess they don't want free jewelry. So you don't want them as a stylist anyways, right? Um, so anyways, that's my biggest is... I really think, I think Facebook parties kind of faded out for a while, but I think they're making a huge comeback. And so you've got to ask every single one, ask them. Um, and then it just makes it easier and you want to make sure that you're friends with them and that you're seeing all your things and that you're just putting yourself out there as a plunder stylist and that you're rocking it. Um, no matter what, where you're at, what's going on, I can guarantee you if you are eat, sleep, and drinking your plunder business, um, that 
it's just going to naturally come out. Your friends, your family, they're going to see something different in you because plunder does bring such positivity and brings such a light. Um, I know Hillary has said it herself, um, you know, that it just, and I could tell, like I've told her this, I could tell after her first live, like there was something special about her. Um, and now like she's just really like come out of her shell a little bit more. Her and I are a lot of like on the fact that we're pretty reserved. Um, I'm not one that if we're in a big crowd, I'm not good about like mingling and talking. I'm really good at sitting in a chair by myself, but I've had to, I've had to get out of it. Um, like I failed speech class in college. Like I pretty much almost couldn't graduate college because of speech class because I was so terrified. I'd break out red into sweats. Um, it was horrible. Um, Anyways, so the last thing, um, I really want to keep this at 20 and we're at 20, um, is about the posse. And so just so you guys know, if you are new and maybe these last couple of months you felt a little defeated, um, because of posse, well, just remember quantity should be back. Um, December should put us right on, um, for good numbers to be able to, that maybe it won't sell out in the next two days or in the first two days, um, but keep in mind, that's been part of it too, is we grew by like 3,400 stylists in just a few days. When the first of the month comes, everyone was getting on posse and Plunder doesn't order those things until, or it takes 30 to 60 days. So like they were, these items were already being ordered back over the summer. Um, no one would have ever suspected that that would have happened. Um, and so the same thing is just really promoting it in your Facebook parties to your new market and just putting it out. You know, if you love jewelry and like, especially, you know, like I love a good subscription box, subscription box, but also the, the posse perks, um, and getting that free stuff back. It's almost like having your own little party. So, um, you know, you're getting 20 to start out with 30, you know, I can't remember all of them off the top of my head. Um, but anybody who's purchasing, especially new customers, you know, anybody even that is a returning customer, Hey, I know you love the new stuff. What if you were in this exclusive club? Um, so that is a big one. Um, and then just really promoting it in parties when it comes out, you know, when you get yours in your hands, if it's still available, going on, showing it live, even if it's not available, say, Hey, if you don't want to miss out anymore, you need to get signed on for the posse. Like right now, um, you can go ahead and pre sign up for next month and they can pick the day of the month, maybe payday or whatever to be able to go ahead and get on it for the pre, they won't get that month if it's sold out, but they could go ahead and like start it for, let's just say December. Um, so hopefully that helps a little bit. Um, but I love posse because it can be residual, you know, that's $25, you know, per customer that's on it every single month. If you think about it and you have eight, then you are already active every month you're guaranteed that and then just making sure your customers know hey they can cancel anytime you're they're not locked in you can cancel it for them and i think that helps make it a little easier too so hopefully this is helpful and i could go on and on and on because i love visiting with you guys but i would love to do a zoom maybe we can in december um hopefully you guys are utilizing some of this and we can talk about it and talk about you know what's worked um you know maybe something you felt like didn't work and if we just tweaked it a little bit that it totally could so y'all have an amazing thanksgiving holiday season i can't wait to see where you guys go because up is the only way i see so see you guys later